Hey, it's Tuesday when I do my e-blast. Good to see you today. Hope you take a little bit of time to listen to this. I'm not going to take a long time. Uh, services Sunday were just phenomenal. When I walked into uh, Spring Campus and saw the numbers of people there on Sunday morning, I thought I was in the Easter service. So that is so good to see. Again, people coming back, both campuses. It's a blessing to see you each week. Yes, some people are still wearing masks. That's understandable. I try to respect them, and so does our staff by wearing our mask when we try to address them and talk to each other or pray together or counsel together or just celebrate together. I have got I am glad to see these numbers radically flattening across the country uh, in the last days and week. If you've taken any time to not listen to what people are saying, but to look at the statistics, you'll see some really good news and good reports, and I'm excited to see it. Good to see several people back who've had their vaccines and come say, hey, I've been waiting to get it done. I got it done. I've gotten my second. The recommended time passed, and I got back in church. So I know some of you are on that same schedule. We've been talking about Easter a whole lot. I just got out of an Easter meeting with our staff. Uh, uh, we've been doing this for about eight weeks, just preparing for Easter Sunday. You don't want to miss any one of these four services. If you want to come to church twice, hey, do it. It's going to be worth coming to church. So uh, we're sharing the four services. I'll be preaching some of them. Our, our campus pastors, Brother Gary, Brother Tim, will be preaching a couple of them. So we're just going to have an awesome day Sunday. It's just making a day of celebration. It's going to be good. So that's a great day for you to consider, those of you who've been out to come back, uh, you've gotten your vaccines, or, or even if you're not, say, I'm not taking the vaccine, come back to church then, put your mask on practice social distancing. Even Dr. Fauci said, you know, we're already needing social distancing is three feet. Why didn't they say that in the beginning? Anyway, uh, it's amazing how we've, we've, we've learned nothing from, from what we've learned. But anyway, I think what we have learned is we should all be serving the Lord. We should all be faithful to the body of Christ. We should all be faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we should all be realizing that these are the times not for sitting back in the comfort zone, but moving forward. And that's what I'm encouraging our church to do. If you've listened to the sermons, you've listened to the preaching for the last weeks, I've just, hey, let's be what God's called us to be. There are people all over the world that are Christians that are facing greater dangers to their lives than COVID-19, and they're still out there preaching, teaching, serving, witnessing, praying, meeting, and doing what God's called them to do. So let, let's, let's not back down. Let me read you a passage, all right, just from the scripture that says this, and this is Romans chapter 13. The apostle saying, do this, all right, knowing the time, of course, we know the time, what days we're living in, that it is already the hour for you to awaken from sleep. For salvation, now salvation is near to us than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day is near. Therefore, let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave properly. Here's the instruction. Wake up, all right? Wake up from your sleep. You know, set aside what's ungodly. Put on the armor of light. Let us behave properly as in the day, not in carousing not in drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and sensuality, not in strife, and certainly not in jealousy. Verse 14, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to take regard to it. Listen, it's just time for us to be what God's called us to be. I'm really excited, and I'm asking you to pray for me, uh, not only about Easter and all this coming up and be inviting as many people as possible, uh, but this, this next week, I'm going to be in Arkansas, in Clarksville, Arkansas, at Second Baptist Church. I'll be preaching there and, and teaching uh, and doing a prophecy conference and talking about the days that we're living in. So if you to pray for that church and for me during this next week, it would be certainly appreciated. And uh, just look forward to God doing some great things there as well. Pray for us regularly and daily. I'll, I'll report this next Tuesday from Arkansas and give you a little update of what's going on there. And what we're looking to is we're getting ready for Easter. Uh, again, my anticipation and my excitement is off the charts. This Wednesday night, coming Wednesday night, at both our locations, Magnolia Spring, 7 p.m., we're going to be having a prayer meeting, a real prayer meeting, not just a gathering. So we want you to come. If you have names of people you've been reaching out to and praying for and inviting, bring those to the prayer meeting with you. Uh, we're, going to have, we're not going to be doing a lot of other stuff, maybe a couple of portion praise songs and just focusing in on, on praying for our leadership, praying for the messages, praying for the, praying for the preachers, praying for the greeters, the ushers, the teachers, the children's ministry workers, everybody that's going to be involved, praying for our neighbors, praying for our community, praying for our nation. So be there. Uh, I know it's not Sunday morning. We haven't done a lot of Wednesday nights. We're still going through the same CDC guidelines, but be there in church Wednesday night and come be a part of really, I mean, this is where real service comes in, in prayer. 
So come and pray with your brothers and sisters in Christ. It's not going to be live streamed. We're just going to be getting together and going to the throne of God and trusting God. God answers prayer. Remember what the Bible says, you know, nothing's impossible with God. And that Greek preposition, that word with, nothing's impossible with God, is a word which literally means face to face. So when we get our faces up in God's face by prayer and humility and petition, God answers prayer. So I'm expecting just a supernatural outpouring of God's spirit on our church and upon our people and upon those we're praying for. Let's come with expectant hearts and let's come believing. I love you. I'm excited about what the Lord is up to and what he's doing in our midst. You should get on board. If you're not a member of our church, and you know, some of you follow us on, on this, hey, you get your church praying, be praying for your church, be praying for these days that are ahead of us. Uh, these are a times so that we need to wake up and be on guard and be what God's called us to be. I love you. I'm looking forward to seeing you. God bless you. Thank you for listening today. Amen.